What's going on everybody? My name's Stevius. Welcome back for another video. We got some vacant gameplay here on Modern Warfare going on in the background, but let's get on to today's topic, Call of Duty 2020. Now, if you have seen the most recent post from Activision and whatnot, Call of Duty 2020, unlike what we all thought and believed, based off of so many things, whether it was the gaming revolution or COVID-19 or what have you, is on track. It is not being delayed. There's nothing to worry about. It's going to be here this fall, according to them. So what that means for us is we are probably about to have Call of Duty 2020 revealed as early as May 12th. And I'm getting that because of Summer Game Fest. If you haven't heard about that, since I guess we're not having E3, they're going to have Summer Game Fest and all these developers are going to be revealing, you know, all this stuff and all these new games. And in phase one is Activision. That's right. Activision's phase one. And the first dates are I'm showing are May 12th. You can go look that up online. Google it. I don't have the link for it. But you can go look that up and find all the latest info on that and whatnot and what have you. But what does this mean for Call of Duty 2020? Because there's also more things that could go into play with that. Apparently, Modern Warfare has made so much money and there's so many people playing it. And typically, what a lot of people do is when something makes a lot of money and they make all this other good stuff happen with it, they follow suit and follow the same trends and guidelines that that game did. So the question is, is Call of Duty 2020 going to be just like Modern Warfare? Now, for some people, that could be awesome. And for some people, not so awesome. And I actually have a conversation, some tweets, between me and David Von Der Haar talking about the next Call of Duty. And one thing he has promised is lots of doors and lots of windows and lots of places. You can even close windows now. You can't just open and close doors. You can open and close windows. So now you're not only going to have to try to go up to a window, you're going to be able to peek through the window, even though there's glass for you to look through. <laughs> yeah, I'm totally full of it. I ain't talking to no David Von Haar. But it would be funny if I did. And it would be even funnier if he said that there would be windows that you could open and close now. Because I know there's so many people who love closing and opening doors and peeking through them. But what have you. But based on if everything is true that all the rumors and leaks are, this is going to be a Vietnam style of COD based in the Black Ops universe, but not actually Black Ops 1. But we'll have to wait and see about that. And I have a gut feeling we're going to be not having to wait and see too long here. I have a gut feeling we're going to be seeing exactly what it is pretty soon here. And so that begs the question, what do you want for the next Call of Duty. I mean, I know what I want. What do you want? You can leave a comment in the comment section and say all about what it is that you would love to see in the new Call of Duty that comes out this year. Now, there's a few things that I would personally love to see. And one would be the end of skill-based matchmaking. Not going to happen, but that's what I really want more than anything else. Second thing I think I would really want to see come back more than anything else is the prestige system i missed the prestige system i had a lot of fun with that i look forward to it every single time i played a cod i mean modern warfare we do have this gun leveling system and i'm a fan of it i like it i hope that that also comes back is that we have that same kind of gun customization that we have found in this call of duty that it's been great i've absolutely loved being able to just swap out stuff create your own stats and i mean i know a lot of people don't like it and I can see why. I mean, no matter what anyone says about this game when it comes to inconsistent gunfights, when you have that many attachments and that many ways to reconfigure a gun, well, no, duh, you're going to have inconsistent gunfights because of the fact if you're running an AK-47 and you don't have it set up exactly the same way as another dude, well, then, duh, it's going to be inconsistent. That's the whole point of being able to classify your own gun and characterize it the way that you want. But, side the point, not going to go off on that rant today. I think it would be cool if crossplay continues to be a thing. And I think crossplay needs to be in all games with multiplayer. I mean, enough of this, you're on this console, you're on that console, you're on PC, you're on Switch, you're on whatever it is that you're on. I think the crossplay for this game has been great. As, with the exception of the cheating nonsense with PC and whatnot. But, here nor there, crossplay needs to stay. That needs to become a Call of Duty staple. Another thing is the DLC model. Now, I'm always going to be on the fence about this 50-50. I think it's great to have the DLC being free, 
but at the same time I don't like it free because it feels like you get so much less of actual content. I remember the day when you paid your 15 bucks, you got four, four maps or whatever, and you did it four times, and you had a truckload of maps, and the game came with a truckload of maps, and it really feels like that they're making less maps, and then they're calling these other maps that were going to actually be with the game to begin with actually DLC maps, and I'm not just not buying it, but let's keep the DLC free. I think that'll make everything happy, but as far as the setting for this game... Vietnam would be great. I hope it's as close to Black Ops 1 as possible. Black Ops 1, in my opinion, is probably the number one Call of Duty out there. For me, it's a tie. Black Ops 1, Modern Warfare 3, those are both near and dear to my heart. Very special games. I can't really pick between the two of them. So, with that, I, I'm just excited. I'm just really hoping that it's Black Ops 1-esque to the extreme. And just getting some maps back on the day like we had, like in Grid, that map was awesome. You know, launch was awesome. Uh, jungle was awesome. There was actually a map in Black Ops 1. You'd have to have really been an old school cop player to remember this. But I loved it. It was called Drive-In. It was a movie theater drive-in. It was kind of like Nuketown. And it faced each other. It would be cool to see that come back. Along with bringing some of those classic guns like the Commando, the G11. And let's not forget the video camera that you could set down so that you could record people as they were walking by. And of course, everyone's favorite noob equipment, the motion sensor that you would post up in a room, put your motion sensor down somewhere, and just wait for people to come on by so you could shoot tackle them. But that's about everything I got for today, people. It's been a pleasure talking to everyone. Glad you took a moment to listen to the video. If you enjoyed it, most definitely drop a like. If you're new to the channel, uh, subscribe, turn notifications on so that you can be alerted every single time that I upload a video. And I have submitted this video to TSG. And if it gets uploaded, big thanks to Thunder. Even if it doesn't get uploaded, thank you, Thunder, once again. He's uploaded me so many times. And if you haven't already gone and check out his main channel, make sure you definitely do that. Thunder is definitely someone who's kept it real for a long time. He's helped a lot of YouTubers out there who haven't been given the time of day. Most probably wouldn't be given the time of day because a lot of people just don't really you know, go off and check out new YouTubers. They stick to the same ones. So if it wasn't for him, there's a lot of us out there who would be just, we would just straight up be SOL. But that's all I got, everybody. This is your boy, Stevius, and I'll see you on the next one.